I'm about to announce the winning subject. This is going to be something I'm going to be creating all the visual effects training for the next couple of days on. So check this out. Okay, so really quickly, a bit of backstory. Earlier this week, at the very beginning, I emailed my inner circle email list and said, hey, give me all of your ideas. Anything that you wanna see training around, let's all submit our ideas and whatever's the coolest one, I'm gonna go and do it at the end of the week. Okay, so I had over 1500 responses and I had to go through those and Wednesday put together my favorite top 10 out of all of them, which was crazy and it took a lot longer than I expected. But finally, Thursday, I put together a voting panel for us all to submit our vote for which one we would like. Um, out of those, uh, in the last 24 hours, because the 1500 took that long to actually go through, uh, I've had 10,334 votes so far. It might've been a little bit more, but I'm cutting it off now. It's 10 in the morning and I wanna get this done by noon or 12 p.m. Um, so what's gonna happen is I'm about to announce what the training subject is out of 10,334 votes. Um, this is the one that won by far and that I'm going to be building over the coming days. So this being Friday, I'm going to be working all the way through till Tuesday to get the first couple of lessons up and continue to work throughout the week to get all of the lessons built. So I'm going to build a mini course around this entire subject, which is going to be really awesome, but at the same time, uh, pretty stressful to be able to pull off. So uh, I'm stocking up on my coffee got my Wolfenstein mug right here and um, I'm about to get to work on building all of this but I'm going to document it all at the same time so that's going to be the fun part is I'm actually going to document the entire process and show how to create the effect from start to finish as a real production shot so I think this is going to be a lot of fun um, that being said Tuesday is the cutoff so Tuesday morning I want to get the very first video out so while I'm building this, I gotta be recording it all, I gotta be doing it a lot, it's gonna be pretty nuts. But more importantly, which subject won? Which one out of all of the, the subjects, the 1500, that got dumbed down to 10, won? So I'm just gonna mention the top five, okay? So um, number five was the tsunami. And by the way, I gotta mention that I'm really surprised how balanced these were. There were one or two that didn't do too well, but the rest of them, it was, you know, fractions that won. It was, it was pretty impressive. So number five was the tsunami. So doing a giant tidal wave, destroying a city or doing something like that. That got 1184 votes, uh, which is kind of cool. Um, the next one, number four, was the helicopter crash. So um, a few people, a lot of people actually described it. helicopter plane crashes, car crashes, uh, all being ones and also some like ship crashes, like uh, spaceships. Um, so that one would have been uh, having like all the metal buckling and bending and the rotor blades all breaking up as one person described it So it would have been pretty cool um, Number three now the last three these ones won uh, Substantially more than the others. Okay, so they got voted a lot higher uh, Number three was the venom symbiote um, suit. Okay, so that would have been very um, I don't really know how to describe it, but uh, Kind of an intelligent liquid all over the body. I think that would be really cool to do and um, that is one that I think that I, I, I'm gonna do it no matter what, maybe closer to when Venom's coming out, I'll, I'll build something around that. I think it could, could be kind of cool. Um, that one was winning for the longest time and uh, I didn't expect it, but like, yeah, everyone was voting for it. And just this morning I, I looked again and the results are um, a little bit different now. So that one was 1,272 votes, whereas the next one was 1,282 votes. So. 10 people more uh, was the Avengers Infinity War ash dust effect. So if you haven't seen the movie yet, I won't give anything away, but the effect was, um, you know, a lot of characters turning to ash and kind of blowing away. And um, I'm really surprised by that because I'll, everywhere I look online, people are trying to mimic that effect. It's pretty cool. So um, yeah, that one I kind of expected to win. I, I just seeing how much people were relating to that thing kind of cool um, but number one okay this was 1330 votes um, this was the plasma energy ball blast effect so 
That one is more of like a sci-fi kind of like energy bursting effect, plasmary, tenderly kind of effect. Um, I do think that just a bit of a backstory, I do think that I might have influenced the voting a little bit with that because I have actually been working a little bit on that in the past couple of days, um, just for fun. It was going to be some training I was going to put out anyway. And then I decided, well, why don't I get you guys to tell me what to make instead? Um, so I have been posting a couple of images and things like that about it. And I think that people might have gotten swayed a little bit just because they'd seen the end result. They'd seen like where it's going. So that one won uh, substantially more. If I was better at math, I'd say it's about 50 more votes, a little bit over 50 votes um so yeah it won a lot more than the others and i'm definitely keen to do that but maybe as a bonus i might try and do one of the other top three the venom or the ash dust effect as a bonus we'll see how it go in time um just because I, I do have a bit of a head start on this one so we'll see um but yeah i mean the the posts i had put up some of them had like 20,000 views which is pretty awesome when i post on social media so obviously a lot of people are excited about it um and yeah i'll, I'll see how i do on time but maybe i can sneak in a few extra bits of training things like that as well we'll see but the the main thing is that now i'm going to be shutting down the voting and i'm going to be um getting started on building this effect obviously i've already got a bit of headway but uh, i haven't done any of the recording and i haven't finished it i'm a long way off so i'm going to start to um, keep you guys up to date uh, with this so as long as you voted then you're automatically in the system and tuesday you'll receive the training but um along the way i'm going to um you know definitely document the entire thing and and you know try and keep you guys in the loop with how i build it all up and any pitfalls or things i run into I think it should be a lot of fun and I, I love this idea like this has been a lot of fun and it's only been really like three days maybe that this is going to happen so quickly so uh, I definitely want to do it again on a, a larger grander scale and maybe get a lot more feedback from you guys as we kind of hone in on exactly the subjects to cover and what level to get to what software all that kind of stuff um for now though like one of the big goals is that i'm gonna have to keep render times and simulation times down because i can't afford to um you know make this like a, a crazy one week sim or anything like that i know when i did the fireball training uh this time last year actually that was intense like the simulations were like for a big fireball ripping through a plane um that ended up being like five day sims and this is going to be five hour sims at most you know i'm going to keep it really efficient because I don't have much time. And I think that in a way, having a deadline like this, it, it does replicate like a real production shot where you have to make the right decisions along the way. You can't just say, okay, well, I'm gonna start working on uh, my shot. I gotta actually um, make the right decisions along the way, knowing that I've only got so much time and I, I gotta avoid bottlenecks and everything else that comes with it. So I'm really excited about this. I think this is gonna be a lot of fun at doing the energy ball effect. And if I have time, I might try and sneak in some additional stuff in there as well. I definitely wanna do this again later in the year. So maybe I'll look when Venom's coming out. Maybe that could be cool to do a Venom suit and um, match that to live action or something. That could be really awesome. If you guys, um, if there's any good animators out there that wanna help out with um, some of the animation, that could be fun to collaborate on. Okay, so I'm gonna to get to work right now and um, stock up on caffeine and, and uh, yeah, grind this out. I got till Tuesday to get this done and there's a lot to do. So I'm gonna make this exciting, I'm gonna make it fun, I'm gonna do everything I can to put everything I can think of into making this something special. So thank you again for voting. Thank you again for submitting your ideas uh, in the first place. And thank you again for being a part of this and supporting this. I think this is gonna be really fun to do and I hope you enjoy it. Now comes the hard part, actually doing the work. So wish me luck and I'll keep you in the loop. Oh,